Hi guys, welcome back to my channel to part two of my makeup haul on the products I bought. So I uh, bought stuff from um, Juvia's Place. I made two orders because I did one that they had the palettes on sale. And then after like around Memorial long weekend, like May long weekend, they had um, palettes on sale as well. Um, our May long weekend is Victoria Day, so Juvia's Place is um, actually American, so that's why I bought it in the Memorial weekend, which was a week after the May long weekend here. And then BH also had it too, so I went crazy at the end of May. Um, so I did get my um, first Juvia's Place package on the 6th, and that was a big order, so I had to pay extra for um shipping i think um so when i went to the post office i had to pay extra just because i think it was a bigger package and the weight was more which kind of sucks because i that was kind of a downfall of Juvia's place um that if you have a package that weighs a lot um you have to pay extra shipping but when it comes to like elf or bh i could buy a lot and i only pay for the shipping that they do it so I don't know why Juvia's Place is different and why it's like that, but it kind of sucks because maybe they're a smaller brand and maybe that's why. Um, and then the second thing I don't like about Juvia's Place is the customer service. They take forever to call, uh, message back because I was looking at the sale prior to Memorial Day long weekend and the palettes went on cheaper the next day. So I actually, yeah, they had it for like a weekend. They changed the... Um, pricing and then they were cheaper so i asked them and this was within my 24 hour window that i'm like hey can i um like i sent a message saying i know that your palettes are on sale i want to get that price so that way i could order like two more um for the price that i was already paying and they took over 24 hours and then the shipping was sent out and she's like we can't change it or anything because we already sent you a shipping notice and i was like well it was within 24 hours so the customer service is not as good at juvia's place i find i think if i did with any other company it would be different but i don't know right so what happened happened um so i'm really excited um for my juvia's place order i got i'm gonna be doing a full face of juvia's place um, BH, I've already done a full face before, but I'm going to do um, a full face of Juvia's Place just because of um, the black community movement. So I'm going to do a full face regarding Juvia's Place because uh, Juvia's Place is black owned. So I'm going to do a video um, regarding that because I don't have Fenty or I don't have Pat McGrath or any other one except Ace Beauty is the other one I have that's black owned. Um, any other company of makeup I do not have as black one, so I really want to do Juvia's Place, and then that will be my video for black one company that I really like because I have previous product from Juvia's Place and I really like them, so that's why. So let's get into the packages. So the first thing I ordered, I'll show you the big package I ordered, the one I had to pay for customs. Um, my friends orders in here too because that's what we do when we order stuff. I'm like, hey, where are you ordering from? So that way we don't have to pay for so much shipping. Um, so I'll let you know what I order. So this is a big package. Make sure I don't give you my address information. <laughs> um, so this is what it came in and there is a lot of palettes. I went crazy. So hopefully I have, do I have a slip somewhere that shows what I bought? No, maybe I don't. I have a packing slip, but I don't have an invoice. And plus I'm using my phone, so I'm just gonna pull that out which ones I got okay so I the first order I did palettes and I think the second order palettes and eyeshadow stuff the second one I did two more palettes and then I also did like foundation and stuff so that's why it's going to be kind of full face so the first one I did was a bundle package this was the freak eyeshadow and bless blush set that was on sale I don't remember how much oh yeah it does tell me I was like oh it doesn't tell me so it was 25 dollars I guess yeah 25 dollars so you get the palette which is this guy over here I haven't opened it yet and then you get the two blushes, which was Bella and Safrina, which came with those. And I've never tried the blushes, so I really wanted to try that. 
I could open these guys up for you. Um, so you guys could have a better look. I will have to do it for all the packaging. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to open them up just because I am going to keep my Juvia's Place palette. It's not like I'm giving them away anytime soon. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with them. So. so when you open up the packaging that it comes in, it is wrapped which is nice all of them are like that which is so nice that it doesn't break so this way i could find out if any of mine broke or anything during transport so this is the Afrik palette which is gorgeous i really wanted it because of the, the green and that yellow and then also that blue and then also uh, toggle which is like a pretty color so that's the Afrik palette all the design on it and then let's open up the blushes. I think one might be too dark for me. And then I think one might be perfect. So if I do like a soft hand, I think I might be okay. Oh my God, why do I? Why do these packages always, I always have an issue with packaging. There you go. So this one is Bella, which I think this is like a pinky one. Oh my god, why? Okay, there. And then, yeah, so this is what this one looks like. Oh, it comes with a cute little mirror. But that's Bella. It doesn't look that. It looks like, yeah, it's pink. I guess I have to swatch it, but yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's so creamy. So that's Bella. I'm so excited. I don't know why. Oh, and then Serafina. Was this the darker shade? I don't remember. So this is what happens when you buy a bunch of stuff. And you, I don't remember what happened. Oh, this is Serafina. Oh, yeah. This is the lighter shade. Sorry. This is like a more pinky, like peach almost. That's Serafina. That's more like a blush shade. Oh, so creamy. That's what it looks like. See, like, do you see how that's like a more pinky base and that's like a more darker shade? But yeah. Oh, really pretty. Yeah, that one I would have to use a light hand on so I could um, go ahead and use it. So I need to grab our makeup thing here. All right, so those are that. I'm not going to swatch the eyeshadows because that's way too many. Um, let's go back into this. And so I got a tri palette and I also got the festival. So it was $8 for the festival palette. My friend wanted one, so we got I got two. So this is what the festival palette packaging looks like. So just open all of these first. I I wanted to unbox it with you guys, so that way you guys could see it too. I'm just gonna fold these on the floor. Um. So that's this is the festival palette. I love the artwork on this, and these are the big pan size palettes like if you saw the freak it's smaller but like these are the big size palettes but like look at these colors you could use any of these colors as highlight as well as well as blush like this will be a nice blush color i find and then if you want to do like a more darker tone that will be a nice color too but this one was the festival and this one was only eight dollars eight dollars guys it's freaking ridiculous. I love when they have this sale. I'm going to go crazy. That's my friends, which I'm not going to open. Um, And then I got, let's see. So I got the pack of all the Warriors. So I got Warrior 2, Warrior 1, and Warrior 3, which I'm so excited about. So I think this is Warrior 1 and Warrior 3. Okay, so I will just open up all those as well. I'm just going to throw things on the floor because I can't. Cannot deal with it. So these ones were, I think these were 
three for forty five dollars and then when they had a sale afterwards like the next day when i was a little late <laughs> i didn't know that they were having a sale when they have a sale i just go crazy and i buy it but i didn't know they were gonna go cheaper so the next day they had the sale and i think all three pallets were thirty five dollars so i was like okay that's a ten dollar difference right or they were $25. So I was like, okay, hey, that's a $20 difference. So that's why I was like, okay, hey, if I do that, then I'll buy more pallets because then they had pallets for $10. So then I'll buy additional pallets. But yeah, so that's what happened. So this is the Warrior, which this is the neutral one, I think is. This is like all browns. And like these are such, these could be awesome uh, highlight shades too. But look at that. Like, isn't that pretty? And they're nice, decent sized pans. So this is like, I think this has three mattes and the rest are shimmers. But like, this is like your everyday palette right here. It's like the Nubian, but I don't know. More better? I don't know. New, I love the Nubian, but Nubian has more in it. So yeah. And then the Warrior 2, I think was all mattes. So these are all mattes. So if you're a person that likes all matte shades, um, this sort of palette would be for you if you don't like shimmers and stuff. But I think like having the warrior, the first warrior one is nice because then you could use this as highlight shades, right? So who said you have to just use them for eyeshadow? So this is a warrior two, and these are all your matte shades. There we go. And I think that's, yeah, they have a black. Look at that black. And this is like a more charcoal gray, but like, look at those shades. This could be a full face one almost too, with that color being like a blush shade or no. So give me a second. Someone's at the door. All right. So yes, that was your all mattes palette. And then let's move on. Okay, I'm just going to move these blushes because I feel like everything's going to fall here. All right. And then we're going to the Warrior 3. And this is a very colorful one. Like even the packaging kind of gives away <laughs> on how colorful it is. So I'm really excited for this one as well. Oh, I got a box cut, like when you open up the packaging. Just cut myself, you know, paper cuts and stuff. Why? Yeah, I just cut myself. <sighs> I'm just throwing these all on the floor. I should keep them because I like the artwork on them. So yeah. Uh, so this is the Warrior 3. This is what it looks like. Oh my god. And this is like a colorful palette. Oh my god, this like screams like summer. That's your artwork inside. And then that's what that looks like. Look at those bright colors. So that's Warrior 3. And then I have the Nomad one that I got, which everyone says this is a nice fall palette. So I can't wait to use this. So these are smaller pans, but this is what the Nomad looks like. Like look at those shades. Look at that shiny shimmer one, like pick up on a light and then yeah, and then the artwork. So that's the Nomad and then we have the Tribe. Okay, I was so excited for the Tribe because I love green eyeshadows. So I got one for my friend and I got one for myself. Sorry, I forgot to tell you how much the Nomad was. Nomad was $15 and then the Tribe was on for $14 as well. Well, 15, 14, one dollar off. Well, this is what the artwork for the tribe looks like. And then let's just open it up. So, so far all my palettes are in good condition. So that's good. Um, the worst is to get, you know, makeup and it's all banged up and stuff, you know, cause no one likes that. So I'm really happy with the packaging that they do. So this is the tribe. Oh my god, I just I can't. I can't. Ah, so excited. It's like a green base palette. Like, oh like look at the greens and yellows. And then you have like browns like for transition shades and stuff. Like, you know, this one and that one. And then you have your shimmer shades right here. And then 
this one over here like a coppery bronze shade a copper it looks like copper to me i don't know but yeah like oh my god i'm just so excited <laughs> so that is the tribe okay so that was a lot of palettes and then i got two blushes with that and then we're gonna move on to the second box so let's get rid of this box right here and then the second one was a smaller box which has like no information this is my packaging stuff it doesn't say anything about Juvia's unless the packaging they put the packaging stuff on it but yeah so this is the second box so this is where i got my foundation concealer and i also got two more palettes and i also got a loose glitter i believe yes and then yeah i got two palettes in this one so let's open these guys up oh let's go with the foundation concealer so i got the nubian loose highlighter in nefriki is that how you pronounce it i don't know doesn't say what base that color is i think you have to look it online but this is what it looks like so it's like a brownie shade i don't know if i should You guys get that it's hard to tell you but like it's kind of like that i think that's a lighter shade oh there's some on here some spilled okay hold on there's some on the packaging here you see that it's like a gaudy shade but yeah so that's not bad i think there was a good lighter shade than that but i went with this because i don't know why not <laughs> and then i got a concealer and foundation so i got the i am magic velvet matte foundation in giza which is 540 which is this guy over here i it was so hard for me to figure out what my shade was so i'm gonna try and see if it actually works so this is why it comes in there's a seal on it i believe there is yes i'm just gonna use that little bit that's on this guy right here i think it should be a good shade match um but let's try it let's try it out I don't have any way to put this. Okay, let's put that there. So that's what that shade looks like. And I'm just gonna. Oh, that is a perfect shade match. It's perfect. Well, your hand's different than your face, but yeah. So far, it yeah, it went on nice. That's good. This is like a neutral. Um, I think it's a medium light was there i think when you look up the description and it was it's a full coverage um and yeah it was supposed to be medium light with um, a neutral undertone and then i got the concealer which is i am magic concealer in j19 i like how the color range the darkest shade is like the numbers i like from dark to light that's how they do it so number one will be your darkest shade and then it goes lighter after that oh this is a decent size bottle holy crap how much is this how many mils is this 10 mils and how many mils is 500 30 mils oh this looks like it's bigger but i guess it's just the packaging let's try this shade oh my god this is like the biggest concealer bottle i've ever gotten it looks like a foundation holy crap that's a huge applicator that's way too much i don't need that much but this is supposed to be is this a full coverage from um concealer as well concealer perfect it's a creamy rating concealer susan uh, cancels out dark circles blemishes and skin Im imperfections i don't know if it is but we will always test it out so that's why it looks like if you rub it in it's kind of light 
but concealer is supposed to be a little light but you can always bronze that up so yeah that's what the concealer looks like yeah you could oh yeah if you put i think it's oxidized to like a brown yeah so you just put a little bit on <laughs> don't go ham like i did all right so that is exciting so that is that oh yeah sorry i forgot to tell you how much these are so the loose powder the loose highlighter sorry is eight grams um that is seven dollars i got it for the concealer i got for eleven dollars which is not bad and then the foundation was sixteen dollars so not bad either and that was on sale as well and then i got two more palettes because i'm crazy um wait a second they sent me two. Oh my god they sent me an extra palette I didn't oh, actually, oh they did they actually sent me two but they only charged me for one oh okay I guess I have to call I'm just gonna message them back and let them know but I got a free palette so that's cool Thank you, Juvis, please. But so I got two. So I have the Saharan one already. So I wanted the second one, which is very pretty artwork as well. Like I just I love them all. Um, and then I got the coral uh Nubian 3 coral one. Yes, because I already have one and two. And I wasn't really into the third one because of the coral colors, but I was I just want to I think I want to get all of them. So that I'm use, doing all my collection for all of them. So that's why. Because I'm a little psycho. Um, but yeah. So this is the Saharan 2. Oh. Did some of the shades scale mixed up? No. It looks like it did. Okay. So this is what the Saharan 2 looks like. It's not bad. I really like this shade right here. Oh my god. And this shade. Oh god. Those are gorgeous. So that is Saharan 2. And then they have, all right, so this is my new bin three. Let me just take off the plastic. And that's what that looks like. So you kind of got your matte shades and your pink shades and like all these grays right here. I don't really have that many grays, but that's nice. So that's what that looks like. All right. And then, yeah, so the... This one was $10 and then this one was $10. So this is like, I mean, the sale that happened that I would have included in that package if I knew that the sale was going on. But things happen and then, yeah, they gave, send me an extra one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that as a giveaway because I might as well. But I'm going to have to message them and let them know that they did give me an extra one. Um, but they never charged me for it. So that's really nice of them. Um, but yeah, I will have to message them and if not if my friend wants it then I can give it to her and if she doesn't want it Then I'll give it as a giveaway. But yeah, this is pretty awesome <laughs> So that is that for um, The haul for my Juvia's place and then we get into the BH cosmetic one. So I'm just gonna get into that. So if you don't want to watch the BH one, you don't have to you could just end it here But if you want to watch the BH one stay tuned All right guys, so now it hey guys so now it's time for bh so this is the big box from bh um yes i'm a little crazy again um so I'm just gonna open this up some wrapping paper my cardboard paper i guess okay so let's start off so the first thing i got was for 250 and it was a beauty sponge um, I think half of the stuff was on sale for like 50% off, 75 I can't remember. But if you go online and you know it's not 250 anymore, it's just that's why. So I got this little purple um, beauty sponge just because I only have the black one. Actually, I do have more. I keep forgetting I have more. But yeah, so that's that. And then I got a bunch of liners and lipsticks crazy okay so uh, let's see i got a water uh, proof lip liner in muse 
so it's right here. Uh, this is the one right here. I can't open it, but that's what the color looks like. Um, and then I also got one in sand. Sandy? I think it's sandy. Lip liner in sandy. I guess I couldn't fit the whole thing in there. Ah! My issue. I always drop things. Okay. <laughs> so this is sand. I don't know if you could tell a difference. I think one's darker and one's lighter. And then, yeah. But they almost look the same. Holy shit. Why would I cut, get colors that almost look the same? Do you see that? I think one is more brown and one has a more of like a purple undertone. But yeah. Of course. Hey, focus. Hello. Focus. It's not focusing. But yeah. Why do I do this to myself? So that's Sandy. I'm just putting it back in the boxes because in case this is how I know I should use stuff. Um, that's lip liners. Palettes, I can't do that because then it takes up too much room. Uh, then I got, what else did I get? I got another one. I'm confused. I got another one. Why so I didn't order another one? Did they just throw this one in there? I don't see it on here. Okay, so apparently I have another one named Spiced. I don't know if I ordered it or not, but yeah, these are, how much are these? These were $3.75, but I'm not sure if I got charged, but this Spiced, I don't know why it's on here. It's not on my thing of all the products I have. Yeah, it's not on here. Where is it? Yeah, let me just open this up because I'm looking at my packing slip. Sorry, guys. Okay, apparently I did get spiced, but it's not on here. I don't know why. Okay, so apparently I got spiced. I don't know why. Um, okay, so let's move on. And then I got... Um, uh, HD brow pencil. Yes. Don't have one. I already have one, I think. This is why I shouldn't buy things. Now I got the HD power pencil. Yeah, I think I do. HD brow pencil. I do have one. I will another one. Great. So this is going to be my backup in black. Yeah, it's an ebony. So block, and then I got a liquid eyeliner, which I don't have by them. I know that for a fact, and it's black. I just have a liner just because I only have one right now, and I think I have another one as a backup. But this could be like my third backup in case I don't like any other one. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just your typical liner. Nothing too exciting. And then I got some long lasting lip colors liquid linen ones i got one in mel and one in monica so mel is this color and then monica is that color are you sure you the box is like that but yeah that's what those look like so one's like this coral red color one's like this mauve nude so i got those then I got a foundation, so I got a lighter shade than the one I had. Just because the one I ordered last year, it was a little too dark. So I got Toasted Almond this time, which is 211. So one that's a little lighter. So I got that. Um, sorry, the eyeliner was 350. Uh, the beauty sponge is 250, if I never said that. The brow pencil was $5.25. What? That's very expensive. <laughs> and the liquid liner was $3.50. I think I already mentioned that. These. Okay, there we go. And then the foundation is $5.70. And then the liquid 
uh, long lasting linen lipsticks for $2.45 each. And then let's continue on. I'll show you the ones I ordered and which one she ordered, like, and then not include hers. So I got the um, eliminating, yeah, in Ireland. This is a highlighter palette. So that's what that looks like. There you go. Um, so that was eight dollars. And then I got Smain in Switzerland, and that one was eight dollars as well. They are originally sixteen dollars, so they were half off. And then I got Hanging in Hawaii. Which I thought I had. No, I don't. I don't think I do. Sorry, I don't. I'm talking to myself. Oh, oh, that's why. Because I got the blush palette, so it kind of looks like that, but it's not. This is the other one I had. Um, so hanging in Hawaii was eight dollars as well. So that is a neutral palette, and then I got Beautiful in Barcelona, which was eight dollars most likely as well. Yeah, so I got that for eight dollars. So that's that. And then the last one I have is my friend's, so she's, that's hers. The next continue thing. Okay, so I got the Zodiac palette, and I saw it at Winners, or Marshall's, one of them. And it was cheaper than what I paid for, I think. It's sixteen twenty. I think it was on for, I think, $10 or something, or 15 I can't remember. But I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I probably just bought it from here, but whatever. I already ordered it, so it's not like I could you know change it up um ah! actually that did not break so i got a truffle the vanilla cream truffle blush palette because i heard good things about it so i got the oh my god i got the vanilla cream one and it's full color blush palette and this is what the tone oh these are actually going to work because on the pictures they were like this really light pink one and I was like, okay, that's not going to suit me, but these colors should suit me. So that's what it looks like. Maybe not that one as much. Maybe I might do like a really light hand, but like that dark shade would suit me. Yeah, that one would suit me. And then there's like a peachy almost color. And then I'm like, yeah, these are actually good. A peach color and like a peachy pink. I'm, ooh, these smell nice too. Uh, this one I think was on sale as well. I think the whole was $9. I'm not sure if that was on sale. But these are actually really good. They have so many different color varieties of them. I think there's like 11 of them that you could get. Like, so for all different shades. So that's really nice that they have that. Because not many places do. Like a lot of places. Like a lot of, you know, companies don't. Um, and then we, I ordered the Fairy Lights eyeshadow palette. It's a 20 eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you guys, it came out like, was it this Christmas? I think it came out, but that's what it looks like. That's just in the packaging. Um, and this one was, I think it was $5 each. I think it was $5 each, and then I got one, and then I think my friend got one, so it came to like $10. I think it was $5 each. It was really cheap. But we'll open it up. I, oh my god, I love the packaging. Yeah, this must be like the Christmas one, but like, do you see the packaging on that? And then this is what the shades look like. Oh my god, there's like a hot pink in here. Oof. but it's like blues and pinks and like neutral colors but like look at the hot pink right there guys holy crap it's like a shimmer shade too if you like pinks this is gonna be a good palette for you and if you like blues but yeah that is good and it has a decent sized mirror on it too so if, if you want to travel with it but that's nice okay i'm gonna keep out the packaging so that was that one and then i got the zodiac palette i should have gotten the love palette but i don't think it was on sale maybe i don't know maybe i don't i don't know why i didn't go with the love one i should have gone to the love one and then if i saw this one at well she was in the not should have gotten it but this is a one that a lot of people are talking about uh it's 24 color eyeshadow palette so that's what it looks like when you open it up
this is the inside and this is all the zodiac signs so it comes with like yeah it's a huge palette and it comes with a nice mirror so this is all baked shadows up, up here then you have your matte shades and then you have a highlighter shade um but i think i will use that it's like an inner corner one but it's like a white eye, eye, uh, eye highlighter shade holy crap i can't speak but yeah this is like a really nice one and then they have like a love one too if you guys really want to get one but yeah so i'm just gonna sleeve off because i don't know why i'm putting the sleeve back on and this guy was 16.50 i'm gonna take the box down too so i have more room and then i got a free gift um, cause I think I spend over a certain amount of money. So they gave me the Midnight City 16 shadow palette. And I'll show it to you. So this is what it looks like. Oh crap. The black broke. Well, that sucks. Well, it's a free gift. So uh, it's okay, I guess. But yeah, I'm not gonna, that black broke right there. But that's why it looks like it's like it's mini shadows so it's like a nice travel size palette if you want to take it but it's nice because it's it has all your neutrals and it has like some dark shades if you want to do like a smoky look or something that sucks i was gonna give that to my cousin Um, but you could press it down i guess but it was free so it's not like i'm gonna say hey like my free gift broke or something you know what i mean i could but what's the point so yeah i got the free one and i don't, i'm not really that like excited for this because i find that my cousin would rather get her better, better use out of it and it's nice it's just i i don't know i have so many bh cosmetics already like i'm pretty sure i could find these colors in my other palettes especially love in london one and they have like some blues in there so yeah so that one was free i believe yeah it was free and i think that's it i thought she got the tokyo one i thought she wanted the tokyo one the colorful one there's trendy in tokyo as well but i'm not sure if that's what she wanted i thought she wanted these but anyways, so that is my haul. <laughs> so I'm sorry if this video is really long. That's why I had two parts for it. Um, so that is my haul for this. Um, yeah, just comment below if you guys have tried BH and Juvia's Place and what you guys think of these products. Um, leave a comment down below if you know, you're excited to see any looks for any of these palettes. There's a lot. Um, and then also I am going to do a all um full face of Juvia's Place. I don't have liner from them and I don't have lip products. So I will not do, like I would do that off camera, but I will have that look up soon just cause I've done it for like BH already, like a full face of BH and ELF and I've done it for, what else have I done it for? ELF, BH, Colourpop as well. So yeah, so I would do that um, for Juvia's Place. I'm really excited cause I, oh, Juvia's Place pigment like the eyes sorry the shadows are so pigmented and i can't fucking wait <laughs> like i just can't um and then yeah just comment below um please like this video um if you want to see more videos like this and also hit that subscribe button and then also the bell notification and that notifies you when i put up a new video so hopefully you guys like this um stay safe and be nice to each other so i'll see you guys next time bye